Sir Michael Caine credits stolen fish and war rations as the secret to his amazing health in a new interview. Legendary actor Sir Michael Caine has discussed his history with food and credited rationing during the war teaching him important lessons about nutrition Sir Michael Caine has credited war rations with teaching him important lessons about food and nutrition. Image, Dave Bennett slash Getty Images by Mark Jeffries Showbiz Editor 21 colon no oh, November 2, 2021, comments Sir Michael Caine says the secret to his good health is the food he had to eat during the Second World War. The Zulu star grew up in Bermondsey in South London and he believes the lack of sugar in his diet due to rationing and the amount of fish he had to eat taught him important lessons about food and nutrition which have lasted throughout his entire life. Kane even learned how to catch rabbits and other animals when he was evacuated from London and into the countryside to escape the Nazi bombings. He said, I was born in Bermondsey which is South London, but I'm a Cockney because I was born in a part of Bermondsey which is opposite Bow Bells, and if you're born within the sound of Bow Bells you're a Cockney. My memory of food is this, my father was a Billingsgate fish market porter and he was a big gambler so he never bought steak because it was too dear but he used to nick a lot of fish. So for 15 years I ate fish, every kind of fish you can imagine and I later realized it was a very healthy thing. Another accidental healthy thing for me was the Second World War. You couldn't get any sugar you couldn't get any of those drinks you have now with all this sugar in it. Then I was evacuated to the country away from the smog which in Bermondsey then was terrible because everyone had coal fires. I lived on a farm for six years. The food was wonderful. Some of the food I caught myself because I could outrun a rabbit. I used to catch a rabbit with a stick and give it to my mother to cook for dinner. Pheasant, partridge, I remember all those things. Thinking back on it, health-wise I was very lucky. And my mother insisted I ate porridge for breakfast for 15 years. We also had fresh vegetables because we lived on a farm so we would go and nick a cabbage. Kane at the age of 88 still cooks now and his speciality is Sunday lunch, and he boasts he make the best roast potatoes you will ever taste. Speaking on the River Cafe Table 4 podcast he said, I'm the one in the house responsible for Sunday lunch, I do roast beef, roast lamb, at Christmas I do the turkey. I do, allegedly, the best roast potatoes anybody has ever eaten, I'm very good at that. The trick is that when they're cooked, is to mash them just a little bit, crack them open, put oil on them and bake them again so the oil is baked inside. The Italian job star who is married to former model Shakira, admits his palate has changed a bit since he grew up in London and became one of the world's biggest movie stars. When asked what his go-to comfort food is, he answered, years ago it was sausage and mash and now it's caviar. Speaking earlier this month Kane said he is more or less done with movies. The acting legend doubts that he will ever return to the big screen as he feels he has nothing left to prove in his acting career and has turned his attention to writing books due to his declining physical health due to his advancing years. Explaining how he turned down a screenplay that involved his character running away from some criminals, Michael told The Guardian newspaper, I can't walk, let alone run. And I'm more or less done with movies now. I've done 150 movies. I think I've done enough. Michael, who has appeared in films such as Alfie, The Italian Job and Hannah and Her Sisters during an extensive career, also lamented that many of his acting contemporaries have now passed away. He said, My generation is going. All my friends are dying off. because we all got so old. 
Roger Moore, Sean Connery, those are two of my closest friends who went. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.